What is going on guys? This is again Shakes from Smartheart. Welcome to 34th Ruby tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you about more on basics of array and fundamentals. Now let's move forward. Now, in arrays, we can assign value to each element at the same time. Now, how to do it? Let's say names equal to let's sorry let's initialize our array dot new now let's say our array size is 6 now in order to assign the same value to all the 6 element we have to use the syntax 6 comma and our value let's say yo shrix yes now let's check the content of the names array let's say put us names let's save it and execute it yeah here we go we have created an array names with six elements and all the elements are having the same values yo shrinks now you can also check the content of the names by using interpolation also let's say interpolation let's use it syntax curly braces hash curly braces then let's save it and execute it yes here we go it will print the exact content of our array names this is how your array looks like now let's see something different let's talk about like this range of values let's say digits is our array name equal to array now how to assign a range of values inside the digit array now let's specify the range 0 dot dot let's say 9 now let's print it also digits let's save it and execute it here we go we have assigned 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 inside our digits array. This one line statement is sufficient to assign all these values to this digit array. One more thing here guys, this double dot operator will assign the values ranging from 0 to 9. Now if I write triple dot here, then this will assign the values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 it will exclude 9 all these things guys I have discussed with you earlier I'm just telling you to make you recall now let's see something different let's say digits dot at our index 5 this statement will return the value at the index 5 here at our index 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 we are having the same value 5 so let's just print it to check this out let's save it and execute it yeah here we go we are getting the value 5 let us now guys move to few other concepts of array let us define an array fruits equal to let's say fruits name apple let's say banana then let's say pineapple right let's define our vegetables let's say veggies equal to then radish let's say what cabbage spelling of cabbage yeah now let us define our third array let's say edibles equal to fruits plus veggies now let's save it oh I have to print it also right edibles put us yeah let's save it now and execute it here we go in this edible array we are having first fruits which is then joined by our veggies array so this edible array is now having six element apple banana pineapple fruits then carrot radish cabbage like this a very easy way to concate two arrays like this 
let's write something like what do you say put s ye the fruit is included in our list let's write our if statement let's say fruits dot include then let's say what apple now let's save it and execute it yeah this is our output statement and this is our condition if apple is included in this fruit array then print this so we are getting the output like this yeah the fruit is included in our list now let's erase it again let's write fruits dot first let's save it and execute it sorry let's write put us also here it is going to print the first element of the fruits array let's write here edibles let's save it and execute it this is again in our edible array we are having the first element of fruits so this will going to print apple now let's write edible dot last let's save it execute it yes our last element in the edible is the last element of the veggies so this is going to print cabbage pretty easy guys and pretty simple now let's write edibles dot first four now let's save it and execute it this is going to print the first four elements of this edible array so our edible array was what apple banana pineapple carrot radish cabbage so first four elements apple banana pineapple and then carrot here we go we are getting the output like this now let's say edible dot reverse this is going to print the reverse order let me show you you will get it yeah this is going to reverse the edible array and going to print its content like this cabbage radish carrot pineapple banana apple cabbage radish carrot pineapple banana apple so the sequence is now reversed now let us find out the index of these element how to find the index of these element let's say fruits dot index in parameter we have to write our like banana now let's save it and execute it here we go the index of fruits sorry the index of banana in fruits is 0 1 so we are getting the output like this index of banana is 1 one more thing here guys instead of plus we can also write minus also that will eliminate the common elements of fruits and veggies right now we don't have any common elements in fruits and veggies so let's try this out let's define another array our new edibles equal to edibles minus fruits now let's save it oops i have to print it also put us our new edibles now let's save it and execute it here we go earlier our edibles array was consisting of fruits plus veggies both but now our new edible array we are eliminating fruits from this edible array so we are only left with veggies so when we print our our new edibles array we are getting output like this carrot radish and cabbage which are only our veggies array now let's see guys how to sort an array let's delete all these things let's define our array like this let's say two one sorry three twenty four twenty three sorry eight now let's say put us x dot sort now let's save it and execute it here we go we are getting the sorted array like this one two three eight and then twenty three 
as expected it is all in ascending order what if now we want the order in the descending order now it will give our array in the ascending order so just reverse it reverse let's save it now then execute it yes we are getting the order in descending order 23 8 3 2 1 things are pretty simple guys you need to worry about the array basics and fundamentals as we will proceed in the further tutorials we will talk about array basics and fundamentals in each and every programs like this so things will be more and more clear so this is all for this tutorial guys catch you guys in the next tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe thank you